What's up guys, it's Daniel again. Today I wanna to give you a sneak peek into one of our courses, which is our South Africa Cape Town course. <laughs> This was done by Justin Poor, and he's an amazing animator, an amazing videographer. He's super engaging on camera, and so the whole course is really, really amazing. A couple years ago, I actually got to go to South Africa, and there I took some of these photos, which are some of my favorite panoramic photos I've ever taken. And you'll notice that they all have one thing in common, which is this mountain. It's so beautiful, it's called Table Mountain, and Justin does a lesson just on Table Mountain and I'll play that for you right now and give you a peek into this course, so enjoy. This is Table Mountain, and it's unique not only because of its distinct shape, but also because how it was made. This mountain has roots going back to some of the world's first above water land masses, making it one of the oldest mountains on earth. In fact, it's six times older than the Himalayas and five times older than the Rockies. Yeah, it's old. And if you go back 300 million years, Table Mountain was actually at sea level. Surrounded by sandstone and softer sediments, Table Mountain's base was infused with granite, giving it strength and a resistance to erosion. And what does that mean? Well, it means that over time, millions and millions of years, this allowed wind and water to eat away at those softer sediments. And what was left was Table Mountain. Now today, the mountain stretches down the coast of Cape Town with an impressive set of ridge lines called the 12 Apostles. And the unique features of the mountain are what made Cape Town a desirable place for people to live. The mountain creates this unique livable climate in what would otherwise be a desert. And a visible sign of this is what is known as the tablecloth. It's this white cloud system that forms above the mountain and appears to flow off the flat top. Not to get too nerdy, but this phenomenon is called an orographic lift, and it's created when air is rapidly pushed from a low valley to higher elevation. So as air comes off the ocean, it rises across the cliff face, picking up speed. Then this rapidly cooled air hits higher elevation, and the result creates humidity and thick layers of clouds, AKA the tablecloth. Now, if you want a less scientific explanation, legend attributes this phenomenon to a smoking contest between the devil and a local pirate called Van Hunks who used to frequently hike the mountain. When the tablecloth is visible, it symbolizes their smoking contest. So there you go. Now you know a little bit about Table Mountain and one of Cape Town's most iconic features. Even if you don't get to go to South Africa, I think it's really interesting to learn about this stuff. I hope that this sparks something in you. And if you do want to learn more about South Africa, or if you are thinking about going on a trip there, we have this whole course, which I'll link in the description below. And if you did find this video interesting or helpful, please give us a like, and please comment if you have any suggestions for topics that you'd like for us to cover. See ya.